Item number SCP-2092 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Due to the distant location and inert nature of SCP-2092, suppression of information and continuous observation is considered sufficient for its containment. Undercover agents employed by the major space agencies must ensure that non-Foundation space probes leaving the proximity of Earth are incapable of receiving electromagnetic signals on the frequency range 3.25 through 3.30 GHz. They are also responsible for expunging the transcripts of SCP-2092-1 from documents related to previous space missions. Probe 2092-A must observe SCP-2092 at all times. Its encrypted video feed must be transmitted to Site-15 via Probe 2092-B. Access to the video feed is restricted to personnel holding security clearance level 4 or higher. If contact is lost with either of the probes, or a failure is expected in three years, replacements must be sent. SCP-2092-1 is a repetitive electromagnetic signal with a frequency of 3.274 GHz. It was received by multiple interplanetary probes, but it was never recorded on Earth or by satellites in Earth orbit. SCP-2092-1 was first received by the Venus probe Magellan on 1992. The destination SCP-2092 is used for the currently uncontained source of origin of the signal. SCP-2092-1 appears to be a message encoded in binary with 5,329 bits of length. Dr. B noticed that arranging the bits of the message into a table with 73 rows and 73 columns results in an image apparently intended to convey meaning. The image features six objects. It is hypothesized that image is a schematic model of the solar system, the largest object representing the Sun, and four other objects representing the terrestrial planets. The leftmost object does not correspond to any known astronomical object. Foundation researchers have hypothesized that the leftmost object is intended to be a representation of SCP-2092. SCP-2092 is theorized to be an asteroid in an orbit directly opposite to that of the Earth, and orbiting at the same velocity as the Earth. The fact that SCP-2092-1 was never received by any device in the proximity of Earth seems to support this hypothesis, since the Sun would block all electromagnetic signals from such a source. A space mission to investigate the assumed location of SCP-2092 is currently prepared. Addendum. Probe 2092-A was launched on an intercept course with SCP-2092 on December 11, 1998. Shortly thereafter, Probe 2092-B was launched on January 3, 1999. Probe 2092-B is intended to act as a communication relay station to send signals back to Earth from Probe 2092-A. Both devices were disguised as NASA Mars probes. Cover stories about the failure of these missions were issued to the public. On 2000, Probe 2092-A reached the presumed coordinates of SCP-2092. Photographs sent back from the probe reveal a roughly rectangular metallic object, approximately 7 meters by 8 meters by 10 meters in size. The surface of the object is covered in 10 square screens, displaying the same message in the following languages. Arabic. Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Japanese, Russian, and Spanish. On Changes were observed in the Chinese and Russian text. The meaning of the message was not altered, but the phrasing became more modern. It suggests that SCP-2092 is capable of observing Earth and its languages, and it modifies the displayed messages accordingly. The English version of the message displayed by SCP-2092, recorded on 2000. Welcome, people of Earth. Congratulations on finding me. I am the ambassador appointed to your planet. My duty is to wait here until you are advanced enough to leave your home and face me. As a final test of your merits, you will be given a single question entrusted to me eons ago. Answer correctly 
and the prize will be knowledge far beyond your imagination. But be warned, might you fail to give the true answer, otherworldly curses shall fall upon your beloved planet, bringing forth creatures straight from your worst nightmares for no less than ten millennia. Your race gets a new chance to solve the riddle only after that period of horrors. Now read the question that will determine your fate, and show me the worth of your people. Access to the full text requires security clearance level 4. Question is currently not available. Please try again in 2,365 years and 127 days.